you, Dave. It's Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, and we're highlighting the accomplishments and contributions of the AAPI community in the Bay Area. My next guest is an award-winning dancer, and she's graced some of the biggest stages in the world. She's also making history as the first Japanese principal dancer for the San Francisco Ballet. Misa Kuranaga, thank you so much for being with us here today. Thank you so much for having me, Stephanie. You are just such an incredibly beautiful and talented dancer. Um, you know, but let's start from the very beginning. You started taking ballet classes at the age of seven. Was this always a dream of yours at such a young age? Yes. Um, dance has been my passion and everything to me. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's a remedy <laughs> my everyday meditation and mm. definitely for me it's the best way to express myself mm. definitely better than speaking words <laughs> yes and you know it is a bit of an unconventional career especially for people of asian backgrounds right so um you know what was that like uh, that conversation did you have a conversation with your parents about it or did they encourage you to you know pursue a career in dance what was that like I never had that conversation with my parents. Mm. I just knew this is exactly what I wanted to do since I was seven years old. Wow. So I've always just pushed through my way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you started out in Japan. Walk us through the journey of how you went from overseas then coming to the United States. Um, I won a competition award and I came here as an apprentice in 2001. Mm. And then I uh, went off to Boston Ballet and it got tons of experience and came back as a principal dancer here. Yes, and you were the first Asian American or Asian person to be the, really the principal ballerina at uh, in the Boston Ballet as well. Yes, yes. I mean, uh, did you face any challenges you feel because of your ethnicity and your background and just trying to find a role in the United States or in ballet in general? Um, it, fortunately, that didn't happen to me, but mm. 20 years ago, um, we didn't have the same awareness as now mm. towards Asian dancers, so it happened to many, many other people. But I was very lucky to be able to dance all my favorite roles. But I have a typical Asian body, mm -hmm. so I'm very short and not the most ideal ballet body. So I had to work extra hard mm. to make sure that I look long and take up space. And uh, uh, even still now, every day I work on my line, to make sure that I look great from every angle. And you know what? Just even sitting here next to you, wow, you're just, just <laughs> very beautiful. So, um, you know, I have to say, I have to ask you, what is the mindset that you have when you're getting ready for a big audition? Um, what, and just kind of take us, uh, what, 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 walk us through that per, that mindset. Um, it's very challenging and uh, rocking. But I know by rehearsing or preparing for it, I know I can improve myself in every way. Mm -hmm. My artistry, my technique, and um, so putting on a great show or getting into my dream company is not the only success. Mm -hmm. The growth that comes with the process is more important to me. Mm. How many hours would you say you practice a day? <sighs> Seven to eight hours. Wow, <laughs> seven to eight hours. And then um, in terms of preparation for the actual performance, how much then goes on into that? Oh, it's just your whole life. Wow. Almost. Yes. So long. Sewing shoes to stretching to massage and eat well and sleep well. And it's, it's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So, so much hard work and discipline. You know, my last question to you is really just asking about your advice for people, um, especially whether they're in the creative arts or not. Um, what is your advice to people who are working so hard, but they're struggling to have their work mm -hmm. be seen? Mm -hmm. I've always had this belief that if I just keep insisting and dreaming, something must shift and I'm one step closer to my goal or mm. dream. So please don't ever give up and keep dreaming. Oh, that's beautiful. So really holding on to that steadfast belief that, you know, you're, you can do it and just being your own biggest cheerleader. That's the key. All right. Thank you so much, Misa <laughs> Kuranaga. Uh, excuse me, Kuranaga. Yes, Misa Kuranaga, the first Japanese principal dancer for the San Francisco Ballet. It's an honor to have you with us. Oh, and one more thing before we go. Mm -hmm. You're going to be performing in December with the company, yes? Nutcracker, and we uh, 
have the whole season until May. Okay, wonderful. So we'll be keeping our eyes peeled for that, for more news on that. Thank you. All right, well, thank you so much, Misa, for being so with us. All right, we'll be right back.